So today I'm gonna to walk you through many months of development on our C6 RAD solution. It's gonna be a journey of our thought process between myself and the lead engineer on the project to bring the C6 a really good RAD. Here at Mishimoto, we wanna give you the best possible cooling solution for your Corvette, especially the C6 model over here. Now, in order to do that, we need to test a lot of different variables. So one of the main hurdles is that the C6 platform uses four different RAD options for cooling. Our objective is to combine all those options into one single RAD. That means all provisions need to be met, and it needs to be more efficient than the stock unit. We finalized our design and 3D printed it for fitment. We needed to verify that the bigger RAD fit in the limited space provided. The next development hurdle was airflow. We needed to measure how much cooling air gets past the bumper, navigates through the shrouding, and actually passes through the angled cooler. As you can see, only 2.4 mile an hour wind speed gets through the top of the cooling stack with our fan set to 60 miles an hour. On average, we saw eight mile an hour through the core. It's usually faster through the middle and slower towards the top. What that means is we have to properly spec the tube and fin design to allow adequate cooling. What we have here, we have three different types of rads. We sampled three different versions of it and we're gonna put them all through their paces. We're gonna test them really hard, really rigorous. Car's on the dyno, we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna see how much better we can perform against that puny little stock thing back there. We're doing something kind of unique here. We're actually applying race car, racetrack simulated load. And how we're doing that is we came up with a program and all these sweeps on this graph, this is an RPM sweep and we apply certain loads. So what this will do is simulate actual racetrack conditions, but we keep the car in like one gear and just floor it. Computer does everything else. It applies its load and it applies the RPM sweep. And we're gonna show you and let you listen to what that actually sounds like with staying in just one gear. Now one thing we really wanna do is tax the vehicle to its maximum limits. That's where this comes in. Our software here is gonna enable us to basically put this thing at its like maximum limits. We're pretty much trying to overheat the car as you would in a real racetrack situation, but without the racetrack. We're able to simulate gear shifts, pulls, running through the gears, decels, all of that stuff with the software here. And what it's gonna do is it's basically going to sweep through the rev range over a certain amount of time. By doing that, it's gonna load up the rear wheels. We can get this thing boiling, uh, really, really hot, with basically minimal effort. And the best part is, it's all gonna be repeatable. If I do this once, I can do it 50 times with the software, no problem. It's important for us to put the vehicles through these simulations. We need to alter water pump speed, RPM, and load to monitor the heat rejection through this system. We have to monitor at high load and off load cycles. The repeatability is important because we need to not only put the stock rad through these tests, but also all three of our designs. We need to get an accurate measurement of all the tests we've performed. In the end, we compare all the data and choose the best performing rad. The C6, it's very upgradable. A lot of guys put bigger intakes on it, superchargers, turbochargers. You have a very small limited space of where the intake pipe goes into the throttle body. So what we've engineered in is this notch. This notch is gonna allow you to get a bigger pipe to go into the throttle body, or if you upgrade your throttle body, you have the room to actually get that pipe past the rad. A lot of guys will cut their rads, take a couple rows out. It's not good for cooling, so we allowed you this space to do that, is to get a bigger air inlet pipe to get into the motor. Working on this car is kind of a pain. The hood opening up from the front means access to the radiator is pretty limited. Now, when I was taking out the rad, I was struggling to get the AC condenser off, Turns out there's one clip on the lower right hand side that just does not want to let go of that AC condenser. When we designed our rad, we took that into consideration and we made a change that makes it easier to get on and off that AC condenser. So there you have it. That's the conclusion of our development. We gave you VEC guys a rad that cools better than stock, holds more capacity, and is easy to install. So click the link in the description on how to get yours.